Step 3. The Z-Axis Part 1. This is the Z-Axis rail configuration we will attempt, an alternative to the round bar. Get one of those 4 inch by 24 inch pieces of MDF. Do not use the 4 inch by 2 foot 3 inch yet. Mark it at 5.5 inches from the edge and cut. Mark and cut another piece at 5.5 inches. Notice how perfectly the piece fits and is held within the binder box. It's a good idea to make sure the piece is level. Two grooves will be needed to secure the slide bearings. Mark the first one at 1 and 5 sixteenths from the edge. Mark the second groove at 2 and 3 eighths inches. This will mark the two outside edges of the aluminum angle of the slide bearing. This, the bearing should be just far enough to clear the inside corner of this assembly. The grooves should be about 1 8 inches to 3 16 inches wide each, provide the width toward the inside dimensions of the marks. Dig out the excess wood from the groove with a handy flathead screwdriver. Try the fit. Mark the second piece. Cheat a little and use the first one as a guide. Finished with the other side.